I'm Ashalene, and this is Power Ups Tutorial. Hi guys, Darren here, and I have my friend Ashalene. Hi. The other day I had a thought, which was to show Power Apps to someone that literally knows nothing about Power Apps and see if I could teach her a few things. The next question on my mind is, okay, if we're going to build an app together, what should we build it about? Ashlyn, is there anything that any ideas that you have of something you could build an app for? Yes, I like to travel and I would like to have all my trips track in an app to have everything organized, to know where I want to go, what to do and everything there. Yeah, that's a great idea. So instead of just writing it down on a pad of paper of the different places you want to go or keeping a track and let's say a Google map or something, you can have it in an app on your phone and uh, it would be nice and organized. So, yeah. le so let's get started. Does that sound fun? Yeah, sounds great. All right, let's do this. If you look at the screen on the right, yeah. we have Power Apps in a web browser. I have a second tab open in the browser and it's SharePoint. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a list in SharePoint um, to hold all of the data. So go ahead and click on that second tab there. There is a link on the left side of the screen. It says site contents. So we'll click on that. So this is a, the area of a SharePoint website where we can create our own lists. And so we'll create a list um, for your vacations. Um, so let's click on the little plus um, where it says new near the top right there. Yeah, there you go. And uh, click on list. And you see where it says blank list. We're going to click on that. Let's just call it trips. There you go. R-I-P-S, trips, there you go. And um, let's go ahead and click the create button. There we go, very good. What is the main thing there? So let's say, if you wanna to go to Vegas, okay? Yes. So it's already got a thing there called title, so we can just type Vegas in there. But let's create another column or another field that will hold where it's at. Okay, so um, do you see where it says add column? Yes. All right, so click on that. And we'll, um, so these are all the different types of, types of information we keep track of. So you see at the very top it says single line of text, yes. but it has other things like multiple lines of text. So eventually we'll, we'll create a field or a column for like notes if you wanna type in just a bunch of information. Uh, so we'll do that in a moment. Let's just click on single line of text. Okay. And here we'll actually call this where. There you go. Where? All right, very good. So we'll click on the save button at the bottom. Okay, so what I'm thinking is where would be just a general description of where it's at. Let's create a single line of text for the city. Yeah, we'll click on that and we'll click on single line of text. You're doing fine, by the way. Um, so we'll type in city. Very good. And then we will, um, yeah, click on the save button there, city. All right, so now let's do the same thing. We'll click on add column and we'll type in state, capital S, there you go, state, very good. And then we'll click on save at the bottom. And now we'll create a new one and we'll put in zip, capital Z I P. Very good, and we'll click on save at the bottom. Okay, so this is gonna tell us pretty much generally where we're gonna go. So I know just based on what you told me that we'll wanna have notes. So click on add column, and this time we'll do something a little different. We'll say multiple lines of text. Okay. Okay, and this will be, we'll just call it notes. Capital N, very good. Click on save, very good. All right, so is there any other pieces of information we want to keep track of? Maybe when you might want to go there? Yes. Okay. So and what, for how long? For how long? Okay, very good. So let's click on add. So it's got that thing that's, let's see where it says notes was created. That's sort of an annoying thing that just sort of sticks around for a while. There we go. Click on the add uh, again. And now we're going to add a date. And it'll say date and time near the middle there. All right. So let's type in arrival date. So capital A. Very good. And we won't include time. That's good. So we'll hit save. You see my picture in the upper right corner. Yes. There's a question mark and then yes. there's a little sprocket. Yes. Click on the sprocket, the little round thing. And click on list settings. 
Very good. So if you scroll down a little bit where it says columns, there's all the columns that we created along with a few other ones that SharePoint likes to throw in there as well. So scroll down a little bit and you see where it says create column right below the list of columns there? Yes. Okay, so uh, click on create column. Call this, um, it's going to be a number, but what we're going to type here is number of days okay. or... Um, yeah, let's call it number of days. So capital N and typed out number. And you can do, yeah, space is fine. And then capitalize D for days. D -A Dates? Uh, days. D-A-Y-S. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. So make sure you click on, see the little radio buttons there? So the fourth one down says number. So yes. go ahead and select a number. So that will be the number of days that you'd like to stay there. And then scroll down to the very bottom. And then click OK in the lower right corner. All right, so I think we're looking good at this point. So, so we have our SharePoint list set up within SharePoint. So what I'd like for you to do right now, do you see the little green square uh, on the screen which says yes. AS? Use the middle button on the mouse, and there we go, that's good. Do you see the URL at the very top? Down a little, there you go. Click right there. All oh, right. <laughs> no, it's all good. It's all good. You're doing great. All right, so we'll hit Control C on the keyboard. Yeah, you Control can hold that down. C. There we go. Um, all right, so let's click on the Power Apps tab, the, the first browser tab that we have open where it says Power mm. Apps. All right, so we're at Power Apps here. And you see where it says SharePoint? It's, it looks a little green. Um, it's the second icon over yes. there. Yeah, go ahead and click on that. All right, and we're going to work directly with SharePoint. So we are using SharePoint Online. So the first option is uh, exactly what we want. So go ahead and click create the Create button and hit Control V. V. Uh-huh. There you go. So we copied it on the clipboard and over here we just pasted. Now click on go. Okay, this is good. So there's your trip. So click on trips. And then in the lower right corner, it has a connect button. So we'll click on that. And now it's going to create an app for us. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. All right. So... There is a button in the upper right corner within Power Apps. It looks like a little play button. Uh, do you see that? Yeah, that's it. So you click on that, and that runs our app. So right now we don't have any data here yet, but uh, click on the plus button in the upper right corner um, of where it says it has blue. Yes, here? Um, no, uh, that one right there. There you go. All right. So... This is where we will type um, your trip information. So let's uh, take an example. Italy. So the very first item where it says title, is there anything generally that you know you're going to do once you're there in Italy? Like what's the main thing that you want to do there? Eat. Eat. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. So in the title, um, let's call it Eat in Italy. All right. Very good. So where? So we'll just type in the word Italy. Capitalize the I. Very good. And then go down to city. And what city? Do you have any city in mind? Mm, a lot of them, but uh -huh. let's start with Venetia. Okay. So type that, that city there. That again. There you go. So I guess we'll just type Italy there again. So this is this is information. We don't have to enter all the pieces of information. We could just enter what we know because you could be like watching a movie or something like, oh, that's that's an interesting place. Let me and maybe the the only thing that you type in is just the very first thing, the title. Okay. Like I'm gonna go eat in Italy and then hit the 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 checkbox and then you could always enter the information later on. Okay. So we have the notes. Is there anything you want to type in notes? Mm, yes, I have one. Mm-hmm. But I don't remember the name. Yeah? Yes. Is, is it a, like a, an Italian restaurant? Yeah. It's okay. a, 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 people say that mm -hmm. the best pizza in oh. the world is there. I want to go. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> I know. So so uh, we could always go back and enter this later. Once you find out the name of the restaurant. Okay. okay. How many days would you like to stay? Fifteen. Fifteen? Okay. So yes. uh, go down to the very bottom. Do you have a date in mind? Maybe January 28th. Okay. Yeah, so let's put that in there next year. And uh, so number of days, go ahead and type the number of days. All right, so at the very top, there's a little check mark in the blue bar. So we'll click on that. There we go. You have your Perfect. first record. Yeah. All right, what about another? 
Yes. So hit the plus button. We'll enter another um, destination. Okay. Maybe one here. Mm -hmm. I want to go to San Francisco. Okay. Very good. So what I would probably put in title. Is, so the only field out of here that's required, you have to type something in is that title. So what I would think is you want to type in like what you want to do there or what, like what would make you want to go mm. like visit friends. No, I want to go to see the big trees. Uh -huh. Do you see that they have like a park? Okay. That where they have a lot of huge tree. Mm -hmm. So yeah, I didn't know that. <laughs> I would like to go there to. So maybe see the trees in San yeah. Francisco. Okay. See trees. Okay. San Francisco is far. Yeah. Okay, see... That'll be the same thing. And what about the arrival date? Mm, let's see for July. July. Yes. Okay, Let's very good. Her. Let's see. First of July. All right. And stay there like another 15 days. Okay, very good. Very good. All right. So as you can tell, like over time, as you get all these ideas, you can be planning your vacations years out. And have all these great places to, to go. And there's a little um, angled, so where it says uh, eat in Italy, there's a little icon on the right side of that, yes. that record. So click on that. And you see, you can see all the information there. Um, there's a little up on that blue bar, you see a little trash can. Yes. We don't want to click on it because that will delete it. You don't have okay. to enter that again, right? Okay. But if you ever entered something like, nah, I don't think I want to go there anymore. You could click on it if you wanted to. Okay. Uh, click on the little, uh, like the pencil icon. That will allow you to edit. So if you want to go in and add more details or change things, you could do that. And then mm -hmm. when you're done, you click on the checkbox. So go ahead and click on the checkbox again. There you go. And you see on that blue bar, there's a little angle bracket on the, on the left side yes. to get out. All right. So we'll click on that. And that's it. That is your application. Do you Perfect. like that? I love it. Yes. <laughs> it's great. All right. So um, let's see the little X off to the right side of the screen. We'll click on the X. If you look on the left side of the screen, it's got three, it says browse screen. So that's the screen we're on. Click on detail screen right there. There you go. So that's the screen we're able to see the information. Click on the next screen down, the edit screen. That's the screen that allows us to edit the information. So you've created a three screen application that manages your data. Perfect. On a scale from one to 10, how difficult was this? Super easy. Super easy. All yes. right. <laughs> yes. Yeah, very good. Very good. So uh, we'll release this. And I guess my question to the viewers is, did you like the video? And also, is there anything that you would like to see Ashlyn add on to this application? That would okay. be that would be cool, right? Yes. Yeah. All right. Bye. Nice to meet you guys. And I hope you like this video. And I hope it's easy for you like it was for me. Very good, very good. Thanks a lot. <laughs> if you found anything in this video helpful, we would really appreciate you click on that like button. If you want to get a solid foundation on Power Apps, there are 10 things you must know. Lucky for you, my husband wrote the book. We are actually offering it for free. Click on the link below to download your free copy today. And if you want to connect with us or work with Darren directly, visit our website. The link is below. Thanks.